Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. When I was pre-shuffling, the Ace of Cups flipped in reverse. So some of you could be turning down an offer. Some of you could be saying, I don't want to date anyone right now. Right now, I just want to focus on myself. Some of you could also be healing right now, emotionally healing. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on? With Sagittarius, let's get into it. Sagittarius, what's going on this week? We have the Eight of Wands. What's going on? We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Emperor Energy. Aries is here. I feel like for some of you, you could be moving fast toward advancement. And this could be advancement in your career. This could be a promotion for some of you. You could be getting a lot of attention. Maybe you're getting a lot of compliments as well. I'm feeling that with the Eight of Wands, like a lot of... Attention is on you. Six of Wands, Emperor. There could be messages coming in or emails or you could finally be hearing some good news about something. Okay? I feel like like when I touch this Emperor, it feels like a lot of respect. So you could be getting, like I said, like attention for what you do or what you've done. Okay? For some of you. Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, things could be changing for you. Things could be finally looking up financially as well. Okay, let's see what else. What else? For Sagittarius, show me. What else is coming through for Sagittarius? Nine of Swords is here. The Hermit. Yeah, Virgo's energy. And the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are stressing, it could be a, over a Virgo, but I feel like more so it's like some of you are stressing maybe over your finances or over your stability. It could be over family as well. Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, Scorpio's energy, the Fool, the Four of Cups. You may have to end something with someone. I feel like you're a bit tortured. Why are, you, why are you feeling tortured over this? You may have to end something with someone. And you're trying to act like you don't care, but you do. The full energy with the Four of Cups. It's like, uh, I don't care, but... Yeah, you may care. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords with the the Hermit. I keep wanting to say Harfont. Queen of Swords is here. Mm. With the Empress. Mm-hmm. Emperor and Empress. Ten of Swords. What is troubling you? I feel like something is bothering you. Like mentally bothering you some of you could be thinking a lot about a mother mother figure okay i also feel like some of you could be thinking about a relationship that ended maybe you were married at one point emperor and empress is my husband and wife card so some of you could have been married at one point and that ended ten of swords with the tower you could be trying to move on with your life, but it does bother you a lot that something ended. You're trying not to show it, the energy of the Queen of Swords. You're trying not to show it, but it does bother you or keep you up at night. I feel like some of you are not sleeping well because something is like festering. What's going on with Sag this week? The World card. The Four of Wands. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, you feel kind of bitter when it comes to starting a new relationship. Mm. What is that? Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. The Hangman. It could be with the Pisces for some of you, but I, I just feel like... Like some of you, you may also be trying to not lose a home or not lose your house or 
There's something with your stability that could be affected. Six of pentacles, two of pentacles. There may not be enough money. Okay. You may be trying to maybe like move out or move on with your life. But the money is funny. Six of pentacles, two of pentacles. It's like there's a decrease there. Hang man and it's keeping things stuck. So you may be struggling a little bit here. You know, it's that feeling of you keep looking for apartments or you keep working with a real estate agent and you're not finding anything in your budget. That's what I'm getting. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Messages for Sagittarius. What's going on? Whoa, what's that? I like bent the card in half. There could be a Leo involved. Strength card. What's difficult? What's the strength card? Whoa. King of Cups. Five of Pentacles. I said King of Cups. This is the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Two of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone here... Yes, I feel like someone is feeling left out in the cold, but I'm also getting more so of your energy, Sagittarius. Like you may have had to pay out a lot of money to someone or something or for something. Hmm. I feel like you're trying to rebuild your life, but it's very difficult to do so. King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Walking away from one person, but you're trying to decide, do I want new love? Yeah. The Lovers with the Knight of Wands, the Page of Swords with the Five of Wands. Some of you could be fighting with a Gemini. Oh, wow. Someone could have also, if this is a third party, someone could have also told you that they were leaving someone. And it's caused a lot of fighting and arguing. Five of Wands with the Page of Swords. You could be watching this person trying to see what they're going to do. What's their next move? I also feel like some of you... Like I said, you're trying to get out of a relationship or you already have. You're trying to move on. <sighs> but there's difficulties with, with trying to move on with your life. Yeah, how is Sagittarius feeling at this time? The Harfont. There it is. I kept saying it and uh, I kept saying that I was getting that energy and it comes out. The Death card. Five of Swords. Some of you, I feel like you just got out of something major. This could have been a marriage or a long-term relationship for some of you. Five of Swords. You could also be going up against your family, like having to defend yourself against your family as well. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on? Page of Cups. Temperance, you, Knight of Cups, okay, the Moon, okay, Four of Swords. <clears throat> you could be expecting to hear an apology. There's that King of Cups. You may be like, this person never said anything. They never apologized. But I don't, I don't think they're going to. The moon with the four of swords, it's like someone is just like in deep contemplation, just thinking about it or not taking action. Someone is just taking their time to like say something or offer an apology. King of cups, three of swords, eight of swords. Wow. For some of you, you may have better luck with an Aquarius. Oh, okay. Any other messages for a Sagittarius? Any other messages? 
That Eight of Swords is back out. The Sun. <clears throat> Judgment. Okay. And the Star. I will say, don't be afraid to step into your own happiness. Some of you may be afraid to be parents or you may be afraid to have children at this time. I do want to say that. But don't be afraid to be happy or to put your happiness first. It's like you may have to choose to heal versus being trapped, you know, in a marriage, in a relationship, in a friendship, on a job. It's like you may have to choose your own happiness. Five of Wands. These are some of the same cards that I showed you before. Any advice from this deck for Sagittarius? Justice is here. Two of Cups. Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> you may have to work out a peaceful situation. Meaning, you may have to let bygones be bygones. You may have to di agree to disagree. Don't keep arguing with someone. You know, if, if it's over, it's over. Don't keep arguing with people. You may have to let this go peacefully. Okay? You may also have to get a roommate. If your financial situation is not at the point where you can like move out on your own or be by yourself or maybe rent is too high wherever you live. You may have to, two of cups, three of pentacles. You may have to get a roommate, work, work out a contract justice with a roommate, two of cups, three of pentacles. You may have to get a roommate, okay, to help carry the load. But whatever situation you're in right now, that situation is not good. It's not working out. Also, remember to do the right thing with justice. Remember to like always tell the truth, always do the right thing. Don't go low. I just gave someone else this advice and it could have been Aries. When they go low, you go high, okay? Don't seek revenge. Just continue to do the right thing so that your karma comes back good, okay? And remember to stay in your energy as the Queen of Wands. That is your card. Yeah, see, some of you may have to move away. You may have to turn your back. You may have to turn someone down. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, a, a job offer. Yeah, I got this energy for Aries. Some of you, it's just time to move on. It, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. It's time for you to move on. I don't know what this is, Sagittarius. But you may have to move on from something that you were comfortable with. Queen of Pentacles, something you've been doing the same, the same old routine, the same people, the same place, the same relationship. It's like it's time to move on and be happy. Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You may have to say no to this offer and go and do what you want to do. Go and be happy. Go and do what you want to do. It may not be what your family wants. It may not be what your lover wants. Oh, well. <laughs> if that person can't understand you, they're not meant for you. Okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, anything else for Sagittarius? Advice or insight? Pregnancy is here. With the fire sign. Narcissist. Oh. Be careful of who you open yourself up to, okay? Because there could be a pregnancy coming. Someone could be very fertile, okay? So if if that's not what you want, because I did get that in the reading that some of you are not ready to be parents, some of you don't want children, okay? That's for some of you. So if you know that someone wants a child, wants a child, wants a child, you may have to turn this person down and tell them, no, I don't want that. I'm sorry. You could be dealing with an earth sign. An earth sign, their health could be affected. If you have an earth sign around you, their, their health could be affected in some type of way. 
There needs to be communication about a date. You could be dating someone new or wanting to date someone new. Okay? Anything else? The answer is no. Cycles and commitment. <clears throat> Water sign. Some of you may have had a commitment with the water sign but that cycle is closing that cycle is closing out it may need to close out maybe you were very committed this could be anybody it doesn't have to just be a lover but there could be a water sign in your life who you were very committed to okay this cycle could be closing out you may have to say no to something that's been going in a in a circle over and over dealing with the same shit, the same bullshit from this person. Okay. <clears throat> Advice or insight for Sagittarius. Believing is seeing. You got to believe it. Then you'll see it. Believe, then you'll see it. Have faith. I clear my energy field. Needing to clear your energy from past people. I feel like from your childhood as well. Also, if you didn't have parents that supported you or supported your career or supported your endeavors, <clears throat> it's time to clear that energy out, okay? Clear out that old karma. Release people. Tell people no. Learn the power of no. That card came out. You need to learn the power of no. What else? Devotion unites me with the infinite. <clears throat> so being devoted to spirituality, being devoted to yourself instead of other people and what they want for you, it unites you with the infinite. Mm. Being close to spirit. Some of you needing to, look, I was about to say needing to heal. And I looked at the bottom of the deck and it says, healing myself heals my lineage. I'm feeling like from your childhood, there's something that needs to heal, okay? Something that you have been dealing with or going through your whole life. It's time to release those old mindsets, release that, that old energy, release whatever uh, people tried to put on you or someone tried to put you in a box and tell you that you're this, you're that. They tried to categorize you. It's time to clear your energy. Wow. Wow. Anything else? One card. It says, you know what to do. Don't act like you don't because you know what to do. It says, trust your inner knowledge, Sagittarius, and act upon it without delay. So that tells me some of you, you've been sitting on a decision. You know what you need to do. I'm not saying that it's easy to make hard decisions, okay? Okay. But you know what you need to do and you need to make the final decision because no one's going to do it for you. You have to do it. You got to do it. Remember who you are. You are a Sagittarius. You are meant to be free. Okay? Don't let anything or anyone put you in a box or hold you back from your life, from living your life. Alrighty, Sagittarius, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.